Notice how easy it is to multiply this. I can just write the numbers straight away without even thinking. Would you like to know how to do this? Then watch this video. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and don't forget to click on the bell icon next to it so that we can directly inform you about the new releases. In this video, I am going to show you a method on how to multiply numbers with a series of ones and it can be a series of any number. So first, let me start with uh, the method to show you how to multiply numbers with a series of ones. To begin with, I am going to start with the multiplier 11. I am going to multiply 43 by 11. So let me start from the right and most digit which is 3, write it down as it is and then we have 4 plus 3, add them, that becomes 7, write it down and finally write down the leftmost digit, 4 as it is and that's our answer. Isn't that simple? Let's try another example. Now I'm going to multiply 79 into 11. So first we'll write down the rightmost digit as it is 9 and then 7 plus 9 so that will become 16 so I'm going to write 6 and carry forward 1 so finally it will be 7 plus the 1 which we carry for, carried forward that will make it 8 so 869 is the answer. When we multiplied a number by 11 what we did is we wrote down the last digit, the rightmost digit as it is, then we move towards the left and continue to add two digits at a time till we reach the last digit which is written down. In this case, it's going to be 7 plus 1, 8. The reason is since the multiplier 11 has uh, two ones, we add a maximum of two digits at a time. If the multiplier has got three digits that is like 1 1 1 then in that case we continue to add three digits at a time for four uh, ones we, we go ahead and add four numbers together and so on in in our example you saw multiplying 79 into 11 where both the left hand side as well as the right hand side add two digits now let me expand this uh, logic of two digit numbers into three digits I am going to multiply 535 by 11. So that is I have three digits on the left hand side and I am going to multiply that with 11. First we write down the last digit of the answer. Here it is 5. Next we are going to add 3 to 5 and make it 8. So the answer now is 85. Next we move to the left. So in this case we are going to leave the 5 and then we are going to take the other two numbers that is 5 and 3 and then we are going to add this and we write down the answer that becomes 885. Finally, we are going to take the last digit and write it down as it is. If there was a reminder, we could have added that but since there is nothing, I am going to write 5 as it is and 5885 is the answer. Let me go with a bigger number this time. Now I am going to multiply 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 11. So I am going to start by writing down 7. Then I am going to move left and add 6 plus 7, 2 digits. So that comes up to 13. So I am going to write 3 and then 1 is carry forward. Then I am going to leave 7 and take the other 2 digits which is going to be 6 and 5 in this case and add them. So I get 11 plus 1, 12. So write down 2, then carry forward 1. Now go with the other two digits, which is 4 and 5, leaving out 6. So I get 10, including the carry forward 1. So I'll write down 0 and then carry forward 1. Next, 3 plus 4, I get 7 plus 1, the rem uh, carry forward value, it will become 8. So th next, I'm going to leave 4, move on to 3 plus 2, that's going to be 5. Then I'm going to leave 3, move on to the left, 
which is going to be 2 plus 1 that's going to be 3 and finally I have one digit which is there and there is there are no reminders so I'm going to just write it down the answer is 1358 that's how simple and easy it is to multiply any number with 11 that is a series of ones till now we saw many examples on how to multiply numbers by 11 let us now have a look at how to multiply numbers by 111 I'm going to multiply 203 by 111 until you get uh, used to this uh, technique of adding numbers you can simplify this number by adding two zeros at the end as well as at the beginning these zeros will not make any difference with the end result how many number of zeros should be there will be defined by the number of digits in the multiplier that is here 1 1 1 since we have three digits 3 minus 1 is 2 so those number of zeros we are going to add once we have that then we can continue with our addition adding zeros will make it easy for us to calculate okay so now you can go ahead and start adding all the three numbers together so first we are going to start with 3 plus 0 plus 0 that becomes 3 now leave the last number and then continue with the next 3 again it's going to be 3 next you are going to leave the last 2 and then continue with next it's going to be 2 plus 0 plus 3 that's going to be 5 now we are going to leave 3 and then move on so now we have 0 plus 2 plus 0 that's going to be 2 and finally we are going to go to the last 3 it's going to be again 2 so the final answer is double two five double three. let us try with another example in this case I'm going to go with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and I'm going to multiply that by 111 since we have three digits over here so I'm going to make it simple by adding two zeros at the end as well as beginning and now let's start adding so 7 plus 0 plus 0 that's going to be 7 now we're going to leave the last one and continue with 6 7 0 that's going to be 13 so write down 3 and then 1 is carried forward and then 7 plus 6 plus 5 including the number 1 that is carried forward it becomes 19 write down 9 and then carry forward 1 now we're going to add 6 plus 5 plus 4 that's going to be 15 plus 1 is going to be 16 write down 6 and 1 up then 5 plus 4 plus 3 that's going to be 12 plus 1 13 write down 3 carry forward 1 now it's going to be 4 plus 2 4 plus 3 plus 2 that's going to be 9 plus 1 is 10 0 1 carry forward now it's going to be 3 2 1 so that's going to be 6 plus 1 7 now it's going to be 2 1 0 it's going to be 3 and finally 1 plus 0 plus 0 is going to be 1 and the answer is 1 3 7 0 3 6 9 3 7 in this method all that is there is adding a set of numbers and once you get used to that uh, you need not have these zeros you can straight away go ahead and add the numbers let's try another example now I'm going to multiply 3 4 5 4 3 by triple 1 so I'm not going to use those zeros directly St start to add them so it's going to be 3 then 7 then 2 then 4 then 3 8 3 and uh, that's the answer let me now try with the last example so in this example I'm going to multiply 9876 by 1111 so we are going to try with four digits in the one series so you can continue adding three zeros on either side and then 
follow the same approach as we did earlier so initially go ahead and start with 6 and triple 0 that's going to be 6 next leaving the last uh, 0 you can continue with 0 plus 0 plus 6 plus 7 that's going to be 13 so I'm going to write 3 and 1 carry forward next we're going to leave the second 0 and now we're going to go with 0 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 22 including 1 that we carried forward so next we're going to add 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus the 2 that's been carried forward that comes up to 32 next leave 6 away and then continue with 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 0 so that's going to be 27 including the 3 reminder that we carried forward next it's going to be 8 plus 9 plus 2 that's going to be 19 so 1 carry forward so next it's going to be 9 plus 1 that's going to be 10 the answer is 10972236 in our previous video you saw how to multiply numbers with a series of 9s and in this video earlier you saw a quite a lot of examples on how to multiply any number with a series of 1s now you may have a question saying that how to go ahead and multiply a number with a series of 2s or a series of 3s like 222 or 33 or 333 and other such numbers you may ask that should we actually go ahead and follow a different technique for this no we can actually follow the same technique that we used for multiplying with a series of 1s but with a small change let's have a look at uh, an example to see how to multiply with a 2 series which you can apply for any other such number series let's multiply 234 by 22 22 can be converted to 11 into 2 11 into 2 is nothing but 22 so now first we are going to multiply 234 into 2 and then into 11 so when we say 234 into 2 it becomes 8 6 and 4 now we are going to multiply this 468 into 11 by following the same technique that we did earlier 8 we are going to write it down 6 plus 8 is going to be 14 write 4 and carry forward 1 now 6 plus 4 is 10 and then 1 11 1 carry forward we are going to write 1 and then finally we are going to add 4 plus 1 that's going to become 5 and the answer is 5148 we use the same technique that we used with one series but with a slight modification let us try with another example so in this example I'm going to multiply 2008 by 6666 so we can break up the 6666 into 1111 into 6 now we're going to multiply 2008 into 6 which is going to be 6 8 is a 48 since the next number is 0 we are going to just write it down then 6 into 0 is 0 and finally 6 into 2 is 12 so now we are going to multiply this with 1 1 1 1 so we are going to continue with our addition technique it is going to be 8 12 so we are going to write 2 1 carry forward now again 12 1 13 so write down 3 1 carry forward now 15 1 carry forward now it's going to be 4 and 5 next it's going to be 3 3 and 1 so in this way you can multiply any number with any series by following the same method that we applied for multiplying with a series of 1's that's it for this video in the next video i am going to come up with another trick from vedic mathematics please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and 
don't forget to click on the bell icon next to it so that we can directly inform you about the new releases thank you for watching this video we'll see you in the next video bye bye